Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives, the channel that likes a good automatic knife now and again. Today, we're going to take a look at a Pirani auto knife sent in by my good friends at Blade Ops. Okay, so check out bladeops.com. There's going to be a link below to this guy if you want to purchase it. But first, let's sell you guys one of my custom Kydex sheaths. And we're back! Okay, hopefully you guys bought either one of my she's and or you're on Blade Ops right now, cruising around on the link provided below. Blade Ops has been very good to me. We've decided to team up, and they're sending me knives for review for these evergreen ads that we make here on the 5 Minute Knurfly Show. And this kind of gets my hands on a bunch of knives I don't have to buy, which is sweet. And I really appreciate it. So thank you, Blade Ops. Shout out to my boy Andy. Thank you for working with me. Let's get into the Pirani review. This is the Piranha Mini Predator Automatic Knife in Blue. It comes in this really cool box. Piranha USA, very neat. There's the box. And you get this little zip baggie. It says Piranis USA. It's got a really cool Piranha chewing on something there. Very neat. And here is the blade. There's some literature in there, but I kind of don't care about that. I don't think you do either. Here's the knife. Look at how beautiful this knife is. Retails for about 182 right now on Blade Ops. Prices subject to change, of course. And the handle is made from 606 I T6 aluminum steel. So I think that's the aircraft grade aluminum. It just looks really pretty. It's been anodized this blue. There's the width. And I just really really like this. Handle length is 4.3 inches. Blade length, ready for the action? Yeah, is 3.5 inches. And overall we're at 7.8 inches. The blade is made out of CPM S30V stainless steel, which is actually a really good steel. And it has this really nice black finish on it. I think that's some sort of uh, nitride. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. But it feels like a really nice finish. And one thing I noticed about this knife right off the bat is the weight. This is very, very, very lightweight, 2.4 ounces. I mean, you really can't beat that as far as blade size, what you're getting, very, very cool. Here's the clip, and it's just one screw, but it's inset, as you can see, very well done. We have milling on the finger grooves here, and we have milling on the backside here. And if you can see properly here, there is some nice jimping right here on the blade which I really appreciate because there's not a lot of it, but it actually is perfect. This knife feels great in hand. Holy cow. I mean, it just wants to go where you want to go for a kind of pokey, cranky attitude. You can kind of almost choke back in a way and you have this in a, in a pokey attitude here. But if you really wanted to bear down and push through a cut, you could always put your thumb here. You do have a swedge on the blade starting right about there but it doesn't get pretty intense until about here. So there's plenty of room for your thumb to kind of help push the cut. This knife would be ideal for a food prep roll, a tater digging roll, if you will, as well. There's a Piranis right here on the handle, if you will focus. And you do have this button right here, raised a bit, and then there's an inset milling behind it. So you can index this, you can find it, and that's also how you're gonna put the knife away. Push the button, tuck the knife away. Here's the action once more, bop. Very nice, aggressive action. This 3.5 inch blade just flies out. She's out when you need her. As far as the handle clip is concerned, you're gonna have about this much poking out of the pocket. And honestly, I am very cool with that. This is the kind of knife I'd like to show off. And maybe it's because I have a knife review channel. I'm not really sure, but I would like this poking out of the pocket just a little bit. You don't get that pretty blue color to hide it, right? So like I said, buck 82 on Blade Ops currently. And I gotta say, Blade Ops is one of those retailers I've never had an issue with, and I'm very proud to be working with them. Our centering is spot on. I mean, this is a sharp knife in all ways. Let's check the edge. Very, very sharp edge. Nice grind lines, as you can see. This is a good looking knife. If you're on the fence about this one, I can say my medium large mitts, it fits me like a glove. Here's your finger grooves here. If you had really big fingers, I could see this as maybe being a problem for you. Small hands, medium hands, uh, medium large. You're good, man. I'm right in there. I think this is going to fit most hand sizes very, very well. You know, when it comes to finger grooves, you, you kind of take a risk. Just ask Glock, right? But these are done in such a way where, as you can see, my fingers, 
perfect. And then right here, and then even if I choke down a little bit, this kind of like drop down area of the handle feels really nice in hand. This could be used as a less than lethal option if you were cranky. And check out the hardware, guys. The hardware goes right to the edge there. Can you see that well? Just an interesting design choice that Piranha has really managed to pull off well. I don't feel any weirdness there, nothing sticking out. This is really, really nice, guys. And I don't know if the video is doing this blue color justice, but it is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. So, I don't know. My first impressions of this knife are very, very favorable. I think this is just like a super handsome knife. And as far as autos go, I mean, that action is sick. <laughs> this is really cool. Look, pop. That is a Piranis. I mean, it, it really does live up to its name of the Piranha because it is very, very aggressive and unassuming. You know, if you just saw this thing laying around, you go, okay, cool, very pretty knife, but you pick it up and boom. It's almost got a little pucker factor to it. Um, and I really love the blade shape. That is just gorgeous for my money. Is this worth a buck 82? Yeah. Am I gonna buy it? Mm, probably. I like this a lot. I'd like to carry it. This one may not be going back. I may purchase this. So it's just very, very good looking and just a well done knife. This is my first piranha knife I've ever really handled and I'm very impressed. Guys, let me know in the comments if you've ever uh, had one of these and what you think of the company. Pricing, steel choice, design, all that. I wanna hear from you. But as far as I'm concerned, this is just like, I don't know, man, tops. It's really, really cool. Very neat, very impressed. Uh, I just wanna thank Index Thermal Plastics for sending me this Dragon Scale Kydex that they have. Very neat, nice uh, backdrop for this knife. And I don't know, guys, I'm really impressed with this Piranha knife. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you to our subscribe Starians. We really appreciate you guys, your heroes. And once again, thank you to my friends over at Blade Ops for sending this in. You guys are the best. Check out the links below to pick up this knife and others. They always have something going on over there. And I'll see you guys next time on 5-Minute Knives.